Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Final Fantasy X, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I'm the Mysterious JG. Do you remember the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes cartoon? I vaguely remember the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes cartoon. I remember really enjoying that cartoon and not a lot of other people having ever seen it. I think it would help to get details about this guy. Let's start with accepting hunts. Oh, he's not going to give us details about this. It's just going to be a general tutorial on the hunt system. So this is this is where the optional bosses comes in. Like throughout the game, you're offered a chance to fight monsters that are more dangerous than the story monsters at that same point in the game. Um you get rewards for doing it. It's the kind of thing where if you want, you can fight through most of the main story and then go back and do the hunts later and like three quarters of them would be super easy by the time you fought through the main story. Um Although this is not a game, I believe, where you are allowed to keep playing after the main story is done. This is not Fallout. Um, although, actually, now that I think about it, Fallout 3, the first Fallout I played, didn't let you do that until you got the expansion. I'm way off topic. Um, but yeah, the, this these side quests, I'm going to try to do most of these. But um, yeah, this is a big part of... This really extends the length of the game, having all these side quests. that They didn't bother to really figure these monsters into the story at all. You can't just take a look at the board, then go running off to hunt the mark. You'll miss out on the bounty. You gotta talk to the person who posted the bill, the petitioner, first. Let him know you're going on the hunt. So take this rogue tomato bill, for example. I posted it, so I'm the petitioner. You'll have to come talk to me. Let's call that step done, okay? Once your agreement's in place, the petitioner will tell you how to find the mark. Then you hunt it, report back, and claim the bounty. Oh, and I'll give you something to help keep track of your hunts. A clan primer. Use it to refresh your memory about hunts you've accepted. You obtain a clam primer. Let's add it to the party menu. Go ahead and take this while you're at it. Just a little something to commemorate your first hunt. I obtained an Orakia armlet. Looks like you can't. You, looks like you can't even equip that yet. You know why? You don't have the license for it. Think of licenses as mileposts, marking your progress as your combat skills improve. Swords, bows, black magics, white magics, none of it does you a lick of good until you have the license to use it. Same goes for that armlet. Damage, how can I equip this treasure you've bestowed upon me, you ask? Easy, learn by doing. Let's give it a try. Licenses have been added to the party menu. I'd say you're ready to hunt that mark for me. Oh, and you'll be needing this to leave the city. Just show it to the watch at the gate. I got a rid of transit. There's a lot of stuff happening. East Gate's the one you'll want to head out. Once you've taken care of that mark for me, let me know. Your work won't go unrewarded. Rogue Tomato. The hunt begins. Try equipping the Orakia armlet. Use licenses. Use the license command in the party menu to obtain accessories, one, and then equip it. Once you've chosen license board, you can't change your mind, so choose wisely. Okay. So this is where the job system comes in, and I kind of vaguely have a plan for this. Apparently, like, the absolutely best in general is to have your female characters doing magic-type stuff and your male characters doing melee, because they do have core stats. Uh, but most of their stat growth comes from the license board, blah, blah, blah. I want Princess Ash to be a badass, so I have a role in mind for her. But apparently, um, I mean, Van's the main character. I'll probably be using Van a lot. So, I got a guide here. It gives you some ideas on stuff to do. Um, so... There's a specific class combination that they advise you to use uh, in order to kill the main, like the the boss that takes like hours to frickin' kill. Uh, but I probably don't want to spend the whole game fighting with a character combination, a combination of classes I only put together because I wanted to. Um, what am I talking about? I guess I'll go ahead and, and I'm going to make Van a Hunter Breaker. B 
because that's like the one of the most recommended classes. So let me actually get going here and stop. Sorry, I was flipping around uh, looking at a fact. My apologies. Let's actually not repeat it. Let's just choose a license board. In order to use weapons, armor, and magics, you must first obtain the proper license. Learn the license to support your playstyle and create your own unique party. You must choose a license board in order to obtain licenses. There are 12 boards, each allowing you to develop a character with unique abilities. Once you choose a board, it cannot be changed. So... Well, this is obnoxious. The, uh... The, uh... This is really obnoxious. The guide I'm using is not... Is, is got some different set of names. So this is... Well, one of them is Breaker, and then there, So Hunter Breaker is what I was going to make him. So which of these is, uh... Which of these is the Hunter... I'm not 100% positive which one of these is the hunter. Bushi, I think, is the samurai. Shikari must be the hunter, but... Jeez, I can't... This is so annoying. <laughs> I am really, I really apologize. I had my guide open. And I was figured out which ones I was gonna do, um, and no, he's not actually. This guy who wrote this this game facts guide I'm looking at doesn't actually. And then somebody, their first comment was, "I'd recommend changing the job names to be set up for." Okay, again, apparently this is based on an older version. And so I'd recommend you make you change the job names to the ones that are used in the current game. But then he doesn't actually explain what those are. So I guess what I'm going to do while you sit here uh, understandably annoyed is I'm going to just double check that... Um, Final Fantasy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hunter job. Well, it did lead to a. It did lead to a question. Is Hunter Shikari the worst job in the game? The main role for Shikari is tanking, support, and health. Okay, so it's Shikari. So I need to be a foe breaker Shikari. So which one do you want to get first? Because I guess I think you get to choose two, but. You, you play as one of them for a while and then unlock the other one. So a foe breaker. Warriors use mighty weapons to tear their foes asunder. And I think a lot of what they do is... A big piece of what the foe breaker does is they, they eventually get... Attacks that... I think they're supposed to get stuff that... I thought they got techniques. Yeah, here we go. They actually do stuff like sort of Black Knight stuff in other Final Fantasy games where they do stuff that decrease enemy stats. And they get the Zodiac Asushion, which I'm sure I pronounced wrong. All Dragon will correct me. 
uh, if he's watching, which he probably is. It's pretty reliable to tune in for the epic fantasy RPGs. So do I want to start out with the hunter class, or do I want to... No, that's Bushi. I don't want that one. That one, I think, is going to be one of the ones that uh, Ash is going to get. Gain MP after taking damage. I guess I'll start with hunt with your the hunter from the future. Yeah, I'd say for some reason it wasn't letting me see what different things were. So they get light armor. And Yagyu Dark Blade. Which I believe is the thing that's supposed to be good against the final, like, optional boss who's actually a holy elemental monster with a billion hit points. Alright, well, we're going on a hunt. Let's start as a hunter. And as you can see, one of the reasons this is the Zodiac Age and the Zodiac Brave story is because they have... 12 jobs for the different signs of the Zodiac. Every character can choose two jobs, which, although you don't have to do it this way, kind of lends itself to what I'm going to do, which is have... There's a total of six playable characters, so we'll get somebody with all the different jobs. It's a, it's a thing. It's not like it changes their appearance or anything like that. So now we can go... And we want to get the... Orakia armlet... Now we got it. So now we can equip it. It's awesome. And it slightly raises max HP. Cool beans. We also have the clan primer. Chronicles are exploits. Insights on foes we've defeated. Hunt information in progress. What will it take to fill the den? What? Our clan rank is Moppet. Hints for the wary adventurer. So, Rogue Tomato. Red and rotten in the desert. Saw Bill posted for the hunting of the Rogue Tomato. At the Sand Sea Tavern, Tomash explained the details. Unaccepted. The Rogue Tomato will be found at the Mosca Ester Sand. Which is like a fancy way of saying East... Here is a map of where the rogue tomato is. I guess we gotta fill it in ourselves. How do what's how do you save? I am under the impression I can save. I hear there's a mark out in the Ester Sand. Of course the Pierre's are too busy securing the city to worry about trouble beyond her walls. Have you seen how many guards they've stationed in the southern plaza? I suppose it makes sense that, that is where the city gates are. If you find yourself by Miguelos, you should take a look. Not every day you see that many Imperials in one place. Awesome. Pray to install the new council. Fie. They're just looking for an excuse to flaunt their might. Well, let the fool strut, I say. I do respect her, but I love to watch her strut. Hey, man, something I can help you with? Tell me about marks, licenses, nah. Never find the rogue's tomatoes standing around here. Okay. Tavern master. How are you, Vaughn? That creature in the desert has us chasing after supplies from dawn till dusk. Someone better do something and quick. I feel like when we find this thing, it'll be... It's the, it's the first one that you fight in the game, so it's probably not going to be all that challenging. I feel like we'll be wondering, like, how come none of you guys took care of this tomato? <laughs> I know it's rogue, but it really shouldn't be that difficult to defeat. So I suppose we should, uh... Like, at this point, I... I, I don't know if, we're, if we'll get a chance to save as we leave the city. I, uh, I haven't really felt compelled to go buy lots of gear. Because so far all we've done is fought a couple of rats. And now we're going to go fight a tomato. 
I feel like the tomato is kind of a tutorial type enemy. I made it from the ester sand just before they closed the gates, but my friend was stopped before he could get through. Could you take him something for me? Sure, no problem. Excellent. You should find him just outside the east gate. A banga, like myself. Don't go selling that to pocket the kill for yourself, you hear? I obtained a small package. I rolled up I rolled up a guy for a three count. Not long before the consul's appointment ceremony begins, the south and west have been closed as part of the heightened watch. Cool. Cool story, bro. I guess I'm glad I talked to that one banger. Oh, I probably missed the cinematic by not trying to leave before I had my pass. Too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight. The fate. He sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the consul's dining pleasure. Pleasure, huh? I got the writ of transit right here. You see, signed, Magello. Suck on that bitch. I hate to see the consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, and not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. Blimey. Is this meant to be funny? Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. Right. Gates are closed after this. So we have a variety of bizarre accents uh, for the locals, but the Imperials all speak like comic relief Cockney characters. You always not working, boy. You want to pass? You queue up with everyone else. Yeah, whatever. So I gotta find this banger. They're inspecting everyone before letting them in. You have to stand in line if you want to. You want in. Okay. What about you? You looking to get inside? No thanks. I gotta go take care of a tomato first. Special line's grown a good deal shorter and hardly anyone's leaving the city now. I suppose you should be heading in myself. Wouldn't want to be shut out here. Sure, sure you wouldn't. That would be tragedy. So I don't know at what point Pinello will be a party member. I don't know at what point she joins us because um, she's just kind of hanging out now doing errands for... Mm, Megiddo, or whatever his name is. Megiddo's flame. <laughs> we must destroy it with the daggers of Megiddo! Are you the banger who likes to mash? Once the gate's closed, they'll not be letting anyone in. No exceptions. They're getting in while the getting's good. You want to try to push in? Best be thinking that move might. You want to get inside, you get in line behind me, understand? I was trying to give you... I figured you were the banga who loves to mash. I was going to give you, um... Gonna pass through the gates till they finish going over my belongings. Risk life and limb crossing the desert to be treated like this. Bah. On your way out of the city, Ari, there's a tomato beast running amok on a bluff close by. Don't go getting yourself into any batter, you hear? Thanks. Inexplicably Scottish guy. My companion and I arrived together, but they singled out my goods for inspection. I've been held up here all day. You came from the city, yes? Did a bang of merchant happen to give you an item to deliver? You sure did. Well, what do you know? My thanks, boy. Help me out of a tight spot, you have. Heading into the desert, are you? Best watch yourself out there. Get into any fights, just be sure to keep well healed. Hear me? Mind your wounds out. Mind your wounds, and the next blow you take could be your last. Had myself caught by the tail a time or two out there, let me tell you. He didn't give me anything. Oh, this won't get me into the city any sooner, but it should help pass the time. Mind what I told you about traveling in the desert. He, he, I didn't get anything for that. I thought that was like a little... I figured I would get... It was a quest. I'd get something. Let's head to the Ester Sand. Let's head to Escaflone. Yeah, it's got little... Bits and flavor of Final Fantasy Tactics, for sure. Go after this cactite. Cacti was like totally willing to live and let live, and I just came after him. I got a cactus fruit. Ten experience and one lump. And in this game, you are rewarded for chaining hit kills of the same enemy type.
game generally wants you to... Oh, I got 7 experience that time. But yeah, for whatever reason, if you... Um, if you switch off and start fighting different types of enemies, you don't get rewarded as much. I, I remember... I seem to remember that, although... Yeah, 3 chain. 7 experience, 1 lip. So, I guess what I'm going to do is try to find Cactites. And the mark should be around here somewhere. But this is a game which has huge... Exp like, it's, it's the opposite in some ways of Final Fantasy X, which had very small, uh, very linear areas. This game, like, gives you huge wide-open spaces where there's nothing. Like, there's no particular reason to explore at all. So, if you're into that, great. But otherwise, it's like, after a while, you're like, why... If you give me so much zone, that there's nothing going on there. I got an Earth Stone. In addition to... The fact that uh, I think you get a chain bonus for killing the same type of enemy over and over. These guys are also, I believe, significantly less dangerous. I got an Earth Stone. So these are... Maybe the Earth Stones are the only form of award I'm getting for this, but... And I probably don't want to mess with that dinosaur. Stop chasing me. Thank you. Okay. I made the mistake of looking at the world around me instead of operating by Soliton Ladar and thought this was someplace I could go. Although I guess it is. But it's a different zone. Hmm. Ah, don't want to miss you. Cactites are right to hate my guts. I'm going around intentionally avoiding all other monsters just to kill them. Oh, but I did level up, bitches, so that's good. They don't even attack you until you attack them. But they do work together. Are you gonna attack it, Van? I keep waiting for him to attack. I guess you gotta choose it at least once. So I think your chances of getting items increase as you fight. Because that 8 chain, it means something. There is some kind of reward for fighting the same kind of guys. Anyway, I got uh, 9 loop. So let's see if I can... Well, actually, the first thing I should do is figure out how you get another... How does one go about actually unlocking a new item or new board because that's a thing I don't even know how you get to these because I probably want to make my way towards that although maybe that doesn't make any sense at all now that I think about it because that's just more places to spend the points Libra, reveal more detailed target information. Well, I don't actually have enough points to buy anything anyway, so... But I am 
puzzled here. I do not seem to be finding the, um... I can buy guns. Gain MP after defeating a foe. That'd be nice if I... I don't know what magic I know. If any. Actually, just being able to cure myself after battle would be nice. White magic 12. So it seems pretty random which uh, spells you're going to have access to. And I can't seem to figure... can't seem to figure out where you're going in order to unlock an additional I thought that was a thing it's like you 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 choose a job class but then on this board one of the things you unlock is the option to get a second board because if it doesn't work like that then uh, I kind of messed up and should have chosen a different class Shades of Black. Yeah, maybe the game will explain it later. I guess I don't have... Magic. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I get, like I have magic at all. Okay. I don't even want your stupid magic game. So there was a little zone over here that I didn't explore yet. I vaguely want to explore this whole area before moving out. I don't want to miss any cacti. There's something that isn't a cactus, so should I be fighting it or not? Hard to say. Obtained a potion. I think I'll leave whatever the heck those are alone. I'm content with murdering any cactus I find. And I think I'm going entirely the wrong way now, yep. Alright. The cactus don't seem to be coming back. A big part of the strategy of leveling and grinding in this game is to find a screen where the same type of enemies is the first enemy that you find on two different neighboring screens. So here's an outpost. That's my chocobo just over there. He has a fondness for shiny things. Buries everything he can get its beak on. The most recent victim, all the gill I made in Rabanaster. And now they've got the road to the Nebra blocked off. This just isn't my day. Hunting the rogue tomato? Well, well, looks like we have a fledgling clan member, am I right? But you've missed the mark, so to speak. <laughs> the mark you're after is the stepping, back the way you came. Oh, in the stepping. Go and give it another look, eh? Okay. So I went... I missed it. Pretty hot, huh? 100 gil if you want to rest. No thanks. That's all, all my freaking money. Not to mention the fact that there's a f save crystal if I can just make my way back to that first screen. It's a desert wayfarer. My father said he didn't mind paying, but maybe he got to pitch in a little too. Chocobos don't come cheap with all these delays. I hope he can afford it. I agree. A mysterious glint. I obtained five gil. Hey, buddy, I found all the gold you made in Ravanaster. All five gil. I heard a chocobo, but for what? They've got the whole blasted desert blocked off. 
Okay, so this is the game's way of saying we don't get to go there yet. A boy and his dog, dot, 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 question mark? You're stuck here too. I came for the village up ahead. Now I can't get back. Him? Don't worry about him. He won't bite or nothing. He's practically family. Cute, huh? Yeah, I'm a serious Glenn. I see it. Can I... Three gill. Wow, if I keep this up, a couple of hours, I'll be able to afford to rest. Well, it's got to be just about the end of the video, right? Uh, hold on one second. Yep, it's time to call it a video. All right, folks, when we come back, uh, we missed the Rogue Tomato. Uh, but I think the smart thing to do is probably to get back to that save crystal, get all of our health back, and then take a crack at the Rogue Tomato. On the Mysterious JG, I don't think the Rogue Tomato was the dinosaur, but I guess we'll find out. Bye for now.